what is up everybody i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving and today we're gonna do a new technique um new to me this actually was done i believe originally by christina welch um it's called the boilermaker technique and i'll explain in a second but i want to show you since i don't usually show um me layering my paints i think i'm going to show you that today given how this technique is going to work, which I'll explain in just a second. So, um, today I'm using Deco Arts Ready Pour Lavender, and the rest of these are Arteza, um, Mars Black, Thalo Green, Gold, Lemon Yellow, Rose Pink, and if I run out of the Thalo Green, I'm going to fill in with this uh, Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Green that I mixed up myself. And we are going to use a little bit of silicone today. I like the Artist Loft silicone because it has no odor to it. Um, and I think it works just as well as the treadmill oil that you can get. But that gives me a headache. So, yeah. Alright. So I'm going to start with the purple. And I'm just going to, we're basically going to fill, this is just a little Dixie cup, like a bathroom Dixie cup. Um, it holds about three ounces. We're going to do a little little bit less than that. Um, and we're just going to pour it in there. So I'm going to add the silicone in between my sections of layers. So it has a handy dandy little dropper. And you just plunk one, two drops maybe. You don't need very much of it. Sometimes if you use too much, it'll separate. You can see canvas and depends on what you're going for, I guess. Now, we're using a 9 by 12 canvas today, so we need about 7, maybe 8 ounces, and that'll give us some drip off. So, this cup is filled with um, Artist Loft, no, I'm sorry, I lied. What is it? It's not that. Yeah, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and it has um, Flow Trough. Uh, liquid pouring medium and a little bit of distilled water um, sparingly that I mixed up myself so this is about five and a half ounces of white and the trick is that you want your I mark the cup with a sharpie so you want to measure the height of your small cup and you want to go over that with the white paint so you want to make sure there's enough that when you drop this in the cup the white covers this whole little cup. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so I had to switch cups because it did not allow for the rise, the displacement of dropping this cup in there. Alright, so we're going to go again. Alright.
Alright, so here is the close-up. And I'm going to show you the top and then I'll spin it so you can see the different things going on on the sides. But I think this is one of my favorite techniques. It reminds me of like a chameleon skin or a snake or this is awesome. That's really cool. Alright, so let me try to show you the focus in on the side here. There's paint all over this. I'm trying not to get it on my phone. <laughs> I might do a bonus footage after this. Uh, I might turn it off for a second and then show you the drips underneath of this because they were really neat and would make for some really nice um, dipped jewelry. Alright, so that's the close-up of this. So here's it up close of the drippings. And there's such different um, patterns going on. Like this doesn't look like it even came off the same painting. And then this over here has a little bit of everything. That's so cool. So I think I might try to do some... Here's an idea. I'm going to do some dips in this. And then I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to do my jewelry the way I normally do. And see, and then compare them. And see if there's a difference between dipping or dried skins. Alright, so cup... Wow. It's still wet on the sides. That should be really neat when it dries. Even the outside of the cup has a neat little thing going on. I don't know if I can do anything with that. It's probably going to be too thin after I'm done. After it's done drying. But there we go. Alright, so don't forget to find us on Facebook and at thelittlepoorhouse.com. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.